Hello everybody, my name is Stephen is Fun. I welcome you all back to another entry for my Ruby Volume 4 and Beyond Theories, Speculation, and Prediction series of videos. I have already talked about basically Volume 4 and Beyond, how I predict the main four characters, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. I have also went over certain different topics like talking about who I think Salem is, do I think Torchwick is actually dead, and do I think Pyrrha is actually dead. And on the topic of Pyrrha, today's theory <laughs> actually deals with her again. And basically, when I <clears throat> talked about the whole idea of if Pyrrha was actually dead at the end of Volume 3 or not, I basically went over and talked about, basically, like, okay, we don't know exactly know how humans die in this universe. Basically, we do not. The only death we've seen is Pyrrha's death. And I went over, like, is she actually dead, or is it some sort of power that Cinder or Salem used to, you know, get rid of her, or take her, oh, take, take her away, or something like that. I basically went over, like, is she actually dead, and we, like, the whole her being dissolved in the gold dust, just her disappearing from existence, or that's just how humans die. <laughs> if it's not some sort of thing that Salem or Cinder actually had control of and did a power of. Or if that's how humans actually die. Or if they took her and did something with her body. Like, you know, took control of her body or something. Today's theory goes off the idea of that last topic. Of Cinder and Salem maybe taking, you know, Pyrrha's body. Maybe killing the actual Pyrrha. Maybe the actual Pyrrha is dead. But seeing how strong she was, you know, and the fact that she was supposed to become one of the, the maidens... It could very well have been the reason maybe they took her body to use her powers for their own evil deeds or whatever. And my theory today is, could we actually be seeing an evil Pyrrha later on in Ruby? Behind me I found some pictures of various forms of Pyrrha, namely Grim Pyrrha. Surprisingly there's actually quite a bit of fan art of that. Go figure. <laughs> So basically, my 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 theory here is, I well obviously I don't think Pyrrha is officially dead, like I mentioned in the last video. I think she's actually I think she's officially dead, in terms of her actual existence, like her mind and spirit and body. She's gone. The Pyrrha we know is gone. But I think like her power, her being, some sort of spirits, like like you know, was dissolved in the golden dust by Cinder and by Salem taken away so they could use her powers to you know further their plan or whatever and basically my thought process theory is, is later on and I'm going to ask a question here on this topic too is I do think there's going to be some sort of evil Pyrrha that comes up like a grim Pyrrha that's like you know it seems like Salem has control over the grim so maybe she's going to use the body without the soul because Pyrrha is dead as far as we know and use gonna use her body like take over it and make it grim Pyrrha. <laughs> Some sort of evil Pyrrha. And very well that could very well be a good storyline, you know, character development, story development for the likes of like say John and Ruby, Ruby who saw her die, and John who was her friend's teammate, love interest. Like I think that's gonna be something like I I don't think they're going to let Pyrrha's death mean the end of her existence in the show. Obviously, her death's going to take a toll on the likes of Yang, Ruby, especially John, um, Nora, Ren, everyone for that matter, really. So her death is going to have a toll, but I don't think they're going to leave it at that. And my theory is that they're going to bring her back evil. So we have some sort of, not just internal conflict trying to get over her death for the likes of John and Ruby, but an external conflict of... She's supposed to be dead, but we're seeing her right in front of us. Some sort of Pyrrha that's not Pyrrha, but it is Pyrrha in some sort of sense. And my question to you is, do you guys think we could very well see an evil version of Pyrrha? Like a grim Pyrrha or some sort of mind-controlled Pyrrha or something later on? Like, do you think she actually died? And, they, and Cinder and Salem just want her gone because they feared her power since she was able to... She was one of the next in line to get the <laughs> maiden's power. And they just wanted to kill her and get rid of her. Or do you think they saw how powerful she was, especially because she was supposed to get the maiden power, and they wanted to take that power for themselves so they could use it? 
and Cinder's go um, Salem's goal for Cinder was to collect her power, collect her being, her body, and send the, in golden dust form. If we don't know how humans die, if they don't just die from golden dust, or she just dissolved in the golden dust just to kill her off, maybe her body was sent off to Salem, and she was turned into this. It, it's an off-the-wall theory, but a lot of people actually think that. I've seen a few people, at least online, think some sort of... You know, especially if they're doing fan art. If they're doing fan art of Pyrrha like this. Like, it's them doing fun little theories, or they actually think it's going to happen in some sort of sense. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, these videos are all pure speculation. All pure, you know, theorizing. It's, it's not 100%. It's basically my thought process on things that could potentially happen. And I think... There should be, or at least there could potentially be, an evil peer that comes down later on down the line that's mind controlled or some sort of controlled by um, Salem's group, and it's going to be battling. Or if she's not fully, you know, controlled by Salem, it could be like a version of Pyrrha that's not actually Pyrrha anymore. Like, what if when Pyrrha died, like, what if when humans die, we don't know exactly what happens when humans die. Like, what if there's like. <laughs> Some sort of connection to the Grimm. Like, we have not found a legit origin for why the Grimm are there. So what if humans and Grimm are somehow connected and maybe her death caused the birth of a Grimm Pyrrha or something? I don't know. But my question to all of you here on YouTube... <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. It's a very, very big lighting here to balance this out. Sorry for that. My question to all of you on YouTube, all the Ruby fans that find my video and want and love watching my theorizing, speculation, prediction videos, and comment your thoughts below. Do you think we're going to eventually see the return of Apira as like some sort of evil entity like this? Or do you think she's just completely dead? If put in the comment section what you guys think. It's an interesting little idea. I've seen people mention this idea before. On Facebook, I've seen Ruby group, in the, one of the Ruby groups, I've seen people mention... The idea of Pyrrha coming back, I've seen it mentioned a little bit on YouTube and elsewhere online. So basically, my question to all of you is, do you think Pyrrha could very well come back as some sort of evil entity, whether she's controlled by you know Salem or not, because we don't know exactly who Salem is, if she does control the Grimm or not, and if, she took, if, if, if Pyrrha's actually dead or not, we really don't know. My, my theory is that she's gonna, she was, her powers were taken, her body was taken by... Salem's group, so they can utilize her power for their goal in the end, mind control her, turn into some sort of grim, like, evil entity, and use her power for what they want. That's my theory. I don't know exactly why. I don't know what their goal is. I don't know any of that stuff. But they could very well be doing something like that. That's my thoughts. Or if they're not in total control of it, some sort of, like, how the world works, maybe Pyrrha just brought back in general, not even working for you know, Salem or anything, and it is just controlled like a grim sort of entity for some reason we do not know yet. I have no clue. Like I said, this is all predictions, theorizing, and speculation, and with Volume 4 coming out at the end of the year and future volumes going on down the line, we really don't know what's going to happen yet. All we know is at the end of the tournament, Pyrrha apparently died, the tournament never happened, <laughs> the rest of the thing never happened, and the school was taken over, and all team members of Team Ruby and all are pretty much separated again. Now, so... That's basically it. Put in the comments section what you guys think. Ruby fans, let's discuss this down there. It's, it's fun discussing with you guys. Like all the other videos have been pretty cool. My name is Step is Fun. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Have a lovely day. And see you all later in the next Ruby Theorizing Speculation or Prediction video. Bye.